This is Ryan Abraham, Dan Weber, USCfootball.com. Instant analysis here from a little bit chilly Howard Jones Field. I don't think this is quite going to be Corvallis weather, but this might get uh, the guys a little bit ready for what they're going to expect Friday night. It's getting you there. It's. Um, uh, I, I was just telling you the um, long distance w weather forecast. I think we're seeing. Um, Rain on Thursday and Saturday, but not Friday. So, you know, that's kind of the way the Notre Dame game was. It was supposed to rain, you know, before and after, but hold off during the game. Uh, it'll probably be a little more chilly than this. Uh, I think the, the one thing they're doing is they're uh, revving up the sound system with that chainsaw, that uh, <laughs> nuclear-powered chainsaw that <laughs> sound that you, you get up there, the you know, the lumberjack, uh, whatever that thing is. But, uh, but this does give you a little sense of Corvallis. Uh, Injury-wise, it looks like uh, three players were listed out, Morgan Breslin, uh, Randall Telfer, and Anthony Brown. But then Randall Telfer told our Chris Swanson that he, would, he expects to play. So what, what do you think is going on with the injuries? Yeah, Xavier Grimble said he thought he was going to play. And uh, talking to Nathan Gartler, I said, what number are they going to give you this week? And he said, I can't wear 82. So uh, 82 is Randall Telfer's number. So uh, I don't know. Is it, the one guy who wasn't here that – then we found out at the end may really not play is uh, he doesn't think Kevin Graff is going to play. Yeah. Uh, so Marquise Lee, you know, up in the air uh, as far as uh, he wasn't here today. Uh, but, um, you know, and Morgan Breslin uh, also we didn't see. We didn't see Nelson Aguilar either. Uh, so, but he wasn't mentioned on the injury you know, update. Uh, so we, you know, don't know. They had four tailbacks here today. Uh, Devon Floyd looked awfully good. That was kind of nice to see. He and uh, and Marquise Rogers, uh, or, excuse me, um, uh, Darius Rogers, uh, gives them a kind of a, you know, you feel like you're settled at uh, at um, at wide receiver. And uh, you know, Nathan is going to play that hybrid position, and uh, and I think they're going to go with the five guys that you know finished out the game with Nathan Gertler available to use him however they need, and that's that's how they're going to go on the offensive line. Cody Kessler's got a tough test up there on the road. Like you said, the, the, the chainsaw will be going, a lot of crowd noise. What did uh, Cody have to say today about getting ready for Oregon State? Now, he's never been there, never been to a game there. He's been to Oregon, but uh, uh, looking forward to you know going up there. And uh, everybody uh, has heard the stories about how close the fans are, how how nasty they can be, how personal you know that, that, it, that it gets. Uh, I tried to ask Ed, you know, does it matter? This will be the first time I think any of us remember USC going in there not the favorite. I mean, maybe that'll help. Maybe they won't be quite as uh, as all fired up, uh, you know, for USC this week. Uh, we'll see. But I think they're looking forward to it. There's been a lot of talk, and they said there was going to be a lot more talk about going to Corvallis. And one of the problems over the years has always been we would try to talk about Corvallis, and people would go, you know, what are you talking to us about Corvallis? And he keeps saying, I don't know. They keep playing really well. They think they're going to win. Your guys kind of fall asleep when they, you know, you go up there. Uh, I don't think that'll happen this week. I think, it's, you know, they know where this, where this game sets them up. If they can, you know, get out of there with a win, what it does for the rest of the season. This is, you know, again, like the Utah game. This one really, really matters. Uh, one last thing. Ed Orgeron seemed but maybe a little short during the press conference today. I mean, there was a lot of problems. He was talking about addressing, like the the inability to score in the second half and third down conversions. What do you think of what Ed Orgeron had to say today? Well, I think he's uh, he's relentlessly positive, and he really wants to be positive, uh, positive correcting and all that. And when you get into, you know, the things like the uh, the injuries, uh, things he, you know, uh, what are you going to do about offensive line where they do miss a lot of assignments or did miss a lot of assignments? I don't think he wants to go there. From you know being around Ed, he's pretty direct and he says what he's thinking. But I don't know if he wants to say it to us exactly where he is, you know, with uh, with this team in terms of correcting, uh, you know, some of the things. So we tend to ask him about those negative things, <laughs> and he really wants to be positive. Uh, and that's just that's his uh, that's his mo. And uh, you aren't going to be able to make him go. I think he tried the first week to be really. Um, you know, as cooperative as he could be, yeah. and he ended up finding himself probably talking more about injuries and things like that than he really wanted to. So he's gonna, <laughs> as he says, I, you know, I'm gonna tell you the name, I'm gonna tell you the injury, I'm gonna tell you whether he's questionable, probable, or out, and that's it. I'm not talking about it again. That's all I'm gonna do. And I think it's a good strategy, actually. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad way to go about things. And I don't mean that he's 
being overly short, but this, it really was. He, he talked in the beginning about, I try to fix everything early. It's a short week. They have to combine yeah. Thursdays, I mean, Tuesdays and Wednesdays practice into one day on Tuesday, tomorrow. So I think he was trying to fix things, but he wanted, like you said, focus on the positive. Yeah, he's definitely, uh, and I, I think, but he did say they're going to, and I, I was, this is the first time I've heard a USC coach say this. We're going to go back and we're going to talk about Corvallis. We're going to talk about playing on the road. We're going to talk about the mistakes we made at Notre Dame. And he said, I really thought that was good. He said, I'm going to try to be a better coach on the road than, than, it was at, than I was at Notre Dame. And I think that's, uh, that's, 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 that's I like to hear that. All right, yeah. I think the fans do too. All right, well, that's for, uh, wrapping it up for Dan Weber. This is Ryan Abraham. Instant analysis here on Howard Jones Field. Check out uscfootball.com for more.